Well, you may want to hold off on taking out the trash this morning because with some help from the early worm, garbage has a great use for your garden. Brian explains in this week's Growing Healthy. All right, in this week's Growing Healthy, we're kind of getting our hands dirty. We got a really neat thing here as far as composting involves some worms, and Chris is here to tell us all about it. What we got going on in this bin? It's called vermicomposting, uh -huh. and it's taking worms and putting them in um, shredded paper, and they eat your garbage scraps, and you end up with beautiful compost to put in your garden and ar or around your plants or shrubs. Okay, so what? What garbage can you put in here? What are some of the things that you can and you can't do? Well, it? it depends on how big your bin is, how much garbage sure. you want to put in. But usually, like lettuce, if your kids don't like rutabagas, you can stick those in there. Um, okay. Any kind of any kind of scraps, no meat, no dairy. That okay. starts to smell. Okay. I do see there's a lot of paper. I don't care. I'm going to get in there a little bit. But yeah, I mean it is pure compost and. Once, so the worms are going to do their trick. What are they going to, what are they going to be doing here? They're going to keep working through this and eating the food. And when they're done, it's okay. going to end up with just this beautiful wow. black stuff. There will be absolutely yeah. no, no paper. It'll just be this. Okay. And then once you get your compost, uh, what are some great uses for that? Well, it, it's great in your garden. You can mm -hmm. put it on your house plants. You can sure. put it on shrubs. It's, um, okay. I mean, if you go to the farmer's market, they sell it there. So. Okay. W one, of the, one of the big questions is how long for a bin like this will it take for the worms to work their magic and eventually get a nice compost like that? They like temperatures of 55 to 75, so they work best there. And this will be about two months. This is Growing Healthy. Back to you. And make sure to tune in next Thursday morning because it's sure to be a tearjerker as it's time to plant our onions. And as always, for more information on each Growing Healthy segment, head over to our website, NBC26.com. And when we come